Now at five, a trial date set for Richard Allen in the murders of two Delphi girls, a case that's grabbed the attention of the nation and of the world. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rafael Sanchez in for Mark Mullins. And I'm Nicole Griffin. Allen is being charged in the 2017 Delphi murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. Our Caitlin Kendall was inside that courtroom the entire time today. Caitlin, the judge didn't hear testimony on key, did hear test, didn't hear testimony on key evidence in the case today, right? Right, Rafael and Nicole. Judge Frengel decided not to hear testimony on ruling out key ballistic evidence in this case, saying she'll hear that on another date. Now, she did set a trial date, as you mentioned. That's set for January 8th of next year. They scheduled it out for at least three weeks. Judge Gold only heard testimony on the thought of moving Richard Allen to another facility. Today, Richard Allen walked into the Carroll County courtroom as he has every single time in a yellow jumpsuit, his arms bound to his chest, his feet shackled. But today he looked significantly different than he has. Allen appeared much thinner than before, and that was a main part of the defense's case today, saying the facility in Westfield that he's currently at is just not right for him, citing his mental health and physical health. They also claim that distance was a major inconvenience and access to Allen, they say, wasn't easy. Several witnesses took to the stand today. In that questioning, it came out that Allen had allegedly made incriminating statements while in the prison about his ties to the deaths of Libby and Abby. Both the defense and prosecuting attorneys admitted to knowing about these supposed confessions, eventually stating that they have been made five or six times. The defense believes that this is due to his mental and physical state deteriorating. For those reasons, they say the statements shouldn't be considered. However, it was not made clear exactly what those statements were. When it comes to where Allen should be held, the Cass County Sheriff said that he could take him, but said that he didn't want to. The warden at the Westville facility said the way it stands right now, he has no concern over Allen's safety. Now, the state did say that they don't have any problem with Richard Allen moving to another facility, but their only request is that it be held on no bond. Now, the judge said that she will take all of the matters today as when it comes to moving Richard Allen into consideration. We should hear a ruling on that in the coming days. Raphael? Uh, Caitlin, I've attempted to talk to the family. Of course, there's a gag order in this case, so the family now talking to the media. There was mention about documents being unsealed today. Did the judge decide on that? Because as we know, those documents have been closed. The public hasn't been able to see them. We haven't been able to see them. So what happened today on the issue of those documents? Yeah, Rafael, a lot of people have been talking about those documents that have been sealed. People just want to see what it is about this case. The judge ruled very early on this morning that she would unseal a number of those documents, including pleadings that have been submitted to the court. We should expect all of those documents that are being unsealed by midweek next week. You mentioned the gag order. The judge was sure to remind both the family anyone involved in the case and the lawyers that they are still under that gag order, meaning they are not allowed to talk about this case outside of what's discussed inside the courtroom. I'm live in Carroll County. Rafael? Uh, Kaylin, we know that so well because we keep asking questions and they say no comment. Kaylin Kendall <laughs> leading our coverage today from Carroll County. Thank you so much. We'll see you tonight on the news at 6. Kaylin has many more details on this case, what's happened in this case. It's posted right now on our website at WRTV.com.